The sky over Porto Alegre darkened on the evening of January 16th, 2024. As locals finished their dinner and settled in for the night, few suspected the violence Mother Nature was about to unleash on their city. Around 10 p.m., the clouds unleashed their fury. Blinding lightning spidered across the sky. Thunder boomed loud enough to rattle windows. Punishing winds screamed between buildings at speeds over 110 kilometers per hour. But most terrifying of all, the rain. Torrential and relentless, within one hour, the downpour dumped over half of Porto Alegre's average rainfall for the entire month of January. Hello and welcome to Alerts On. The deluge blasted the city. Trees swayed wildly, ripped from the soil by raging gusts. Traffic lights plunged into darkness. Gushing currents swallowed cars and buses, trapping drivers inside. At the airport, anemometers recorded staggering wind speeds of 89 kilometers per hour before equipment failed in the face of nature's brute force. and Porto Alegre's over 1.4 million residents could do nothing except watch in horror and pray for the agony to end. As the storm intensified, emergency lines flooded with calls. Firefighters and first responders mobilized through battery-powered radios, racing against time to rescue trapped motorists and evacuate flooded homes. Hospital generators roared to life to combat blackouts. But flooded basements left medical centers without vital equipment when they needed it most. By sheer luck, no lives were lost in the maelstrom. But the damage inflicted on the capital of Rio Grande, do Sul, was nothing short of catastrophic. Entire neighborhoods sat submerged in murky water for hours after the clouds unleashed their payload. Key metro lines ground to a standstill, their sunken tunnels waterlogged. Over 200,000 households and businesses lost power, some for nearly two days. Brazil's eighth largest city by GDP had ground to a complete halt. In the eerie silence after the skies cleared, a stunned population emerged to survey the destruction. Uprooted ancient trees blocked major roadways. Cars lay overturned or crumpled like tinfoil amidst the debris. Precious personal items and irreplaceable documents floated through the filthy water, flooding homes and hospitals. As shocking images of the devastation circulated on social media, many likened Porto Alegre to a war zone. The damage inflicted in one hour of rain exceeded entire previous destructive storms. Powerful hail and winds fast as tornadoes wreaked havoc. For the citizens of Porto Alegre left grappling with the aftermath, shock gave way to despair and anger. Why did the meteorological alert system fail to predict a storm of such epic intensity? How could so much rain fall so rapidly without flooding prevention measures activating in time? 
Where were the storm defences and preparations after so many extreme weather events in recent years? There are still no clear answers. And with climate change forecasts predicting more frequent severe weather for Brazil's southern capital, Porto Alegre's residents live in fear of when, not if, disaster may strike again. The strong smell of sewage and decay lingers as crews dredge streets and pump out flooded basements. Yet with Porto Alegre's trademark resilience and solidarity, the healing has also begun. Neighbours distribute hot meals and bottled water. Volunteers help the elderly rip out waterlogged drywall and flooring from their homes. Out of tragedy, the community has banded together and found strength. But the emotional and financial wounds will take far longer to mend after this one storm left over $3 billion worth of damage in its wake. As meteorologists and city officials investigate what went wrong, the locals of Porto Alegre steal themselves. They survived the fury unleashed by this storm. But next time, they may not be so lucky against nature's volatile whims.